Dairy Queen Red Deer, owned and operated by the Hamill family for over 50 years and the proud sponsors of the Athlete of the Month, seen on rdnewsnow.com. Rene Rondeau for rdnewsnow.com here for the Dairy Queen Athlete of the Month. I'm here with Jeremiah Lazon. Jeremiah Lazon. Jeremiah, congratulations. You've been selected and chosen as the Dairy Queen Athlete of the Month for the month of March. Can you go, sir? Thank you. What do you think? Um, it's, <laughs> I don't know, I didn't really think I'd come this far. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not great with words, but, uh, like, it's, it's nice to get some something physical where like you can be like oh I did something like pretty pretty cool yeah so well congratulations to learn more about what Jeremiah has accomplished watch the story right now my name's Jeremiah Lazon and I'm a runner with the Red Deer Titans Club why I nominated Jeremiah is to put it in small words he has achieved uh, incredible accomplishments in the last uh, eight months. Um, he's a great individual as a person, and his results on the track have been just outstanding. He's phenomenal. Definitely a great role model to look up to as well. Like, just crushes people on the track. He is a true, truly a, a leader to his teammates, both by his accomplishments and as his personality. He's come from a very unique background, um, and it's made him a very strong individual. To better explain Jeremiah's accomplishments, we must travel back to his home country of Haiti. Jeremiah's story that they told me was that he was brought by his dad and an aunt. His mother was dying. She was sick through the whole pregnancy. The aunt saw that the baby needed help. And so they brought Jeremiah to this orphanage. <clears throat> And he, at six months old, he weighed six pounds. And he was so close to death that he, he couldn't suck the bottle, the formula. It was here at the orphanage that Jeremiah's life was saved. The kids called her Grandma Pat. She took a, really like, a real liking to Jeremiah and she was very concerned about him. So she actually slept with him and syringe fed him formula throughout the night. But they also said there was something very peculiar about Jeremiah because they had seen a lot of very sick babies and some of them didn't survive but they said when Jeremiah came at six months old he couldn't bend his arms and legs they were just stiff so uh, they did range of motion with him and saved his life and yeah and then we adopted him he told my husband that the reason I'm giving you my son is because I love him and I know this is best for him. That father's love gave Jeremiah a second chance, a family, and a new lease on life. The way he's using his legs now to run, and they definitely bend <laughs> in his arm, and um, he's a real survivor, a real overcomer. Yeah. Jeremiah's passion for the sport of running started in grade 8. His first meet, he had five events. He, he almost collapsed on the trap halfway through the first event. He pulled an abdominal muscle. And uh, Mike and I were like, well, let's just pray he'll come back. And he did, and he just started winning everything in the local area. And there were people, officials saying, sign him up for the Titans, you know, and I didn't really know what that was about. But so this is his second year doing the club and he's, he's running the, I mean, he can pretty much run out anyone in Red Deer, I think. Since joining the Titans, he's never looked back, winning meets, picking up hardware, and now starting to create a name for himself among the best. Jeremiah competed in the Open Division uh, in Calgary in the 60 meters and came second. Uh, turned a lot of heads because here, here's a high school guy in the final with university guys and performing uh, and not looking back. I was pretty surprised I was able to beat like a pretty large majority of them. 
like I haven't really expected that of myself, and uh, it, it just it gives me confidence that like I can do well if I'm beating people who are in university for that sport. Going back to the summer, for example, he came off the high school season, not bad, uh, made finals in 100 and 200, but after that, uh, he ended up establishing quite a resume for himself by uh, f winning the Tri-Province meet, which is uh, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, um, beating some people that uh, he's been chasing. Uh, so by doing that, he started to establish himself uh, provincially and nationally. I get really nervous and I think, how nervous is he? <laughs> but, but I also often think of his story of where he's come from and just a starving little child that couldn't bend his limbs, you know, and yeah, often. It's very, like, almost therapeutic. Like, at least, like, after you're finished everything, like, if you feel nice about what you just did and everything. Driven by the sport of running, Jeremiah has set some pretty important goals. You know, when I first started, I, I wasn't thinking of, like, getting into, like, nationals or anything. But um, my goal, I guess, now would be to get into, like, nationals. I'd like to get a, a scholarship somewhere. Then I can, like, go to college at that school. And hopefully from there, I can move on to, like, the pro ring and work my way up from there. It's given him, like, goals like even his grades have gone up a bit not that they were bad before but now he's got some goals and going to university and seeing what he can do with this and maybe one day we'll see jeremiah running in the olympics it'd be nice to get into the olympics and um because well one thing that drives me is like uh like i was born in haiti so i'm like technically a haitian citizen so if I ever make it to the Olympics, I would like to run for Haiti. I, I feel like that'd be really cool and i just like to do that. He has said that he'd like to do that and meet up with his birth dad and make him proud and do something for the country.